There's a chance. Oh, is there so much text from this tweet? What the fuck? You need How do you do this? Is this like some Twitter blue shit? The season of blood, there are new layers that have been added around the world. Bosses can drop uber uniques. Is that like the uh, like like Shaco and whatnot? Like drop from bosses now instead of being a one in fucking five hundred years of playtime grind. You will know players on your friends list to have found them. That's good. That's better than like one person per country finding one every month. I guess. You know, a friends list instead of a country. That's a little better. Eltide 2.0. Still vampires and shit. Faster experience gain. That's fine. I feel like X2 is mostly okay. It's like you're gonna finish faster. You're gonna finish progression faster. Which like, I don't, I don't think it really needed to be faster. It needed to be more fun. It was like 50 hours to 100. I think that's not terrible. Uh, but the doing that in Nightmare Dungeons is a fucking nightmare. That's nice. Doesn't get stuck. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll see about this one. Breaks through barricades. I bet the the guy that designed barricades is pissed about this. He thinks he's right still. When I designed those barricades, it's 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 it's, it's, it's so, so so players interact with the world. They have to dismount and yeah, f fuck off, bud. <laughs> How dare they? Teleport straight into the dungeon and holy shit, minus one load screen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. If it's a night dungeon, have increased density. Okay, log in. Lo more log in. I'm still logging in. The nightmare dungeon is maybe with, with less shit. We'll see. I guess. I don't care about world bosses at all. Stash is searchable. 2023. They beat the New Year's deadline. It is. It is possible. The technology is here. Oh, nice. I. I this is good too. Some favorite items for when you're doing gear swaps. That's nice. Some UI stuff. Auto run feature. What the hell? It goes in the direction of cursor. Oh, just so you don't have to click. Enchanting changed. Yeah, enchanting's kind of weird in Diablo 4. The gold cost can get so insane that even if you finally get super lucky and find your item, because there's no crafting, obviously. If you get super lucky and finally find that item, you could just spend 5 billion gold and not get the mod you need. Yo, this is, this is good. This is good. Some actual distinction between the two. Still, like, three just... I don't... I don't know if three needs to exist. It's just this this weird in-between of, like, the campaign slash early game and end game where it's, like... I, I think it's still gonna feel the same where you don't want to spend any time in three at all. You, like, in hardcore, you'll just, like... Get one stick of that in every slot, and then just like try to power XP and get the fuck out of here. I don't know. It feels like this like weird like in between like purposeless difficulty. Love the instant conversion to mats though. Like like this kind of helps with the item filter problem, where like there isn't an item filter, and like I see a bunch of shit that I don't want to see. It might mean we get less gold though, because you can't pick it all up and vendor it. We'll see. But I definitely like this. 920. Thought the cap was 820. Uber uniques always roll perfect. I what does that mean? Why is it so like can they, can these drop on the ground and also from Uber bosses? And if they come from the boss, they roll perfect. If they drop on the ground, they have a roll range, or like Is there the the range is just gone now and they're always perfect, I guess? Only from Durial? If it's only from the boss, that makes sense. I guess it's cool. Right, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird at the same time. If there's actually no variance at all. And they're still not tradable, I guess, so it's not like they would have like market value or anything. Based on them having good rolls. Primals? Kind of. But primals still had variance in that like, they could roll crit, attack speed, crit. Or they could roll area damage, CDR, or fucking regen, you know? And like, the rolls would be perfect, but like, the mods were random. Uniques don't have random mods, they're they're exact. So having no rolls and no change in mods means they're all literally uh well the exact same. Which is ironic. Like the word unique in D D Diablo and Path of Exile is like it uh it, it it doesn't mean what it means. Like uniques are the least unique thing in the game. Rares are actually unique because they're they they have fucking identity. The rare that I'm wearing might not be the same rare that you're wearing. New mounts! Fuck yes! I 
farmable, they better be purchasable in the cash shop. I swear to God, if I have to log in and play the game, I will sue. And they're going to explain how resistance changes on October 10th. Resistors are kind of weird. I, I never got around to doing actual testing to see how effective they are, because, I, I mean, I just could not be fucked to bother with that, but... Based on how the character sheet, like, reads when you get resist, they definitely seem super bad. <clears throat> 41 pages of patch notes. Launching on Steam? Cool. So yeah, I, I think Season 3 is still the uh, the target for when they're creating the content that is not Nightmare Dungeons, that will have leaderboards and hopefully be, you know, fun content. Maybe we log into Season 2 though, I don't know. I don't know, ah, we'll see. I'm not going to commit to anything one way or the other. Not yet.